What's good you guys and welcome back to the channel. And since 2020, I have been able to find a diet and workout regimen that I've been able to do consistently since then. And it's been the first time in my life that I've been able to do that without burning out. And in this video, I just wanna go over some tips to help you avoid burnout. Let's get into it. Now, the biggest reason why I haven't burnt out yet is because I made working out and dieting fun for me. I don't push myself past my limits anymore like I did in the past by decreasing my calories to 1,200 calories or by saying that I'm gonna work out two hours a day. I start with realistic, maintainable, achievable goals so I can feel encouraged every time I reach them. Now when I approach the weight room or the gym or the track, I know that my only goal is to get a little better every day instead of seeing the end goal of where I want to be and being discouraged every time that I don't reach that goal. Now it's just I did better than yesterday. I did better than the day before yesterday. Because remember, it is about consistency over intensity. It's about what you can do for the long term of your journey, not for quick fixes in what you can do right now and trying to lose 10 pounds in a week. That's not sustainable throughout your entire life. When it comes to my diet, I struggled finding something that I could stick to long term. And that's again because I would over restrict my calories to like 1,500 to 1,600 calories in, at the beginning of my weight loss journey when I weighed 440 pounds. And in the previous video that I posted, I told you guys that I used to eat eight to 9,000 calories at my height. And to go from that to eating 1,500 calories was just not sustainable for long term. So I would be starving and miserable for that five days that I would stick to it and then I would binge the next week. So it would be this constant on and off struggle because I didn't find something that I could do every day. That's the key, finding something that you could do every day for the rest of your life. So what helped me personally out is I downloaded a calorie counting app. You guys heard me talk about it in the past, the MyFitnessPal app, and that helped me hold myself accountable so I knew what I was eating every day. And it was good for me to see what I was eating every day and to figure out what I could eat that day. So I would experiment with typing in different foods to be like, oh, I have room for this. Oh, I have room for that. And it helped me begin eating in a healthier way because why would I waste all my calories on a slice of pizza or fried chicken when I could just have grilled chicken and I could have a lot of grilled chicken and I could have a lot more vegetables and cutting out sugary drinks. It helped me get healthier. Now, lastly, I want to talk about rest and reward. I think it's important to rest when you are going hard in the gym like five days a week because it allows your body to rest and recover instead of you beating up your body day in and day out. Allowing your muscles to recuperate and allowing yourself to have that time off will make you go into the gym the next day even harder instead of going three weeks strong and then taking like a week off because you're injured yourself or you're just tired of the same old routine. And mentally, you're more encouraged to go to the gym if you know you're going to have rest days, planned rest days after your three days, four days, however you want to plan it, just plan it and incorporate it in your life. So that way you're not setting high expectations like I'm going to go to the gym every day and then when you stop, you feel like you failed. But this way, you don't feel like you're failing. You feel like you're succeeding because you have planned rest days. Knowing your limitations when it comes to rewarding yourself is very important. You have to schedule out your cheat meals and your cheat days just like you schedule out your rest days. You can't allow your cheat meal to bleed into a cheat day, a cheat week, a cheat weekend, a cheat month. You have to hold yourself accountable and say, I'm going to allow myself to eat this item and this item only, or I'm gonna allow myself to eat this meal and this meal only. 
and then hop right back on the train. That way you can know, oh, I rewarded myself for that progress and I can, I see my reward coming in the future. All right, you guys, thank you for tuning in to another video. And if you have any ways that you avoid burnout, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button so you can see future content. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts at newlifefit101. And I will see you next week.